Hello everyone, this is Ian Ormus with Tech Defense, and this is episode 13 of Tech Tip, where we're going to go over an automated analysis tool I've been writing in Python, currently called Automator. All right, everybody. So uh, today we're going to talk about this program that I've been working on um, that's currently called Automator, although I'm, I'm looking for um, suggestions on better names. But basically, I, I ran into a problem as an analyst doing analyst work where uh, I had to keep going to specific uh, web resources to pull information about IPs that I was trying to analyze um, and, and investigate to find out if the uh, stuff I was seeing was malicious or if this guy was on any black, you know, things like the, the normal stuff that we do is as uh, information security analysts. So I found myself doing, for example, all right, I want to find out more about 123, 123, 123. So I'm going to go scan it at IP Void. All right, we see that it's detected. Then I'm going to go check out you know, these URLs here to see why they were um, detected as being malicious. So I see emerging threats is listed there. That means there's probably a signature that includes this specific IP. Um, so I'm going to go look at what that signature is for and, and see if that matches what I'm seeing in my environment. Per se, but this isn't um, all the information I need. This gives me some good information to start with, but it doesn't give me everything I need. So then I would end up going to some place like Rob Text, and then I would do the same thing. I would go one two three one two three one two three, and I see here. Okay. Congratulations, you won. Uh, congratulations, I won. By the way, um, it, it is blacklisted in one list. Sure, that's great. Um, and I'll check out what that blacklist is, but it gives me something else that I don't get in IP void, which is um, here I get to see every DNS record um, for that IP. So anything that has an A record pointing to one two three one two three one two three one two three, I can see that. So this gives me a list of domains that utilize that IP address. That is awesome. Um, that is that is very useful in what I'm doing because then I can go check DNS logs to see if if they're marrying up with what I should be seeing. Um, but then I'm going to check things like, I'm going to go see if if it's um, already blocked via URL categorization and stuff like that. So I'm going to go 123, 123, 123 again. And I'm going to see, oh, hey, this IP is classified as a URL um, as being in the category malicious websites. So that's something I do block, or that's a category I don't block if it's in, a, say, business or or something else or it's in web web hosting and say it was that rating then I know oh it's something I don't currently block alright I need to add this to my block profile or something along those lines and of course I'm using Fortinet here um, but I in the tool that I'm going to show you I'll add more than just Fortinet that just happened to be one that I used quite often so I found myself doing all this and you can see I mean this took a good three minutes and this is with the tabs already loaded, ready to go. It took a good three minutes or so to find out um, information about this IP address. Where um, I could use, let's see, where am I right now? Okay, let's do this. Let's go to workspace. Or I could use this tool that I just wrote. There we go. So let's just go here real quick and dot slash automator. So again, that's the uh, name of the program currently, but I'm looking for suggestions on what to name it. And this is just a Python script. I give it a tack T to name my target, and my target in this case will keep it the same, 123.123.123.123. Let's make this big so we can see everything. And hit enter. So everything that we just did that took about three minutes, this guy just did in about three seconds. So what it does is it generates all that information we were just looking at. So first it goes to Rob Tex and it pulls out all those A records. So we can see everything that resolves to 123, 123, 123, 123. Then it's going to look at the blacklists that are listed on IP void and it's going to tell you if it matches any of the blacklists and if it does, it's going to give you the link so you can go view more information about that at the source. 
then it's going to give you some generic uh, IP or ISP and geolocation information. And I'll add more stuff to here as well so you can get pretty much all the general who is stuff. And I might pull this from Aaron instead of using uh, IP void, um, but I do like the format they put it in. So I'll probably maybe keep both. I'm not sure yet. Um, but we get some basic information about this IP address. All right, it's based out of China. It's using this Chinese ISP. Good. And we also get to see that the URL categorization is a malicious website. So all that information that we just went through and searched here individually, we were able to pull back pretty quickly. Um, so awesome. Uh, but the tool's not where it needs to be yet. So if you look, and I'll do a TAC-H real quick, the only other option I currently have that works, and you'll see that these are the options that I have planned for this. So target IP, URL, we have that already. Um, source engine, I want you to be able to um, put in TAC-S, rob text, or maybe TAC-S, DNS, and then just get the DNS results back if you don't care about the IP void or the FortiGuard uh, URL categorization information. And then of course the default would be TAC-A for all engines, TAC-H for help, but uh, most importantly I want you to be able to import a list of IPs, so do this against multiple IPs at one time and uh, be able to output that to a file um, so that you can, uh, you know, don't have to look at it all in here, you can throw it out in XML or a CSV and manipulate the data the way you see fit. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do with this. I also want to add an interactive mode that would pretty much ask you all the questions. Uh, it would prompt you for all these questions to get these options. Um, and that interactive mode would be done with a TAC I. Here's some typical examples I would expect to see out of it. Or, uh, I would, uh, typical commands I would expect to see run using this program. So the um, reason I'm showing this to you now, it's obviously um, not finished yet. I'm still working on it, and it has some bugs, uh, particularly with IP void right now. Um, as you can see, if you go to IP void real quick, um, how I'm running, or how I have the Python script going is it just concatenates the IP address to ipvoid.com uh, slash scan, and then it concatenates this IP address right here to it. Um, and does a get. Well, if this IP address hasn't been scanned previously by IP void, then this information isn't there yet. Um, so what I'm trying to do is actually post, do a post on the scan on the original page. So do a post to this form here. Um, but I should mention I'm, I'm not a very strong Python uh, scripter yet. This is actually my first Python a project that I've ever tried to do. Um, so I'm, I'm learning as I'm going along, uh, but I'm having problems getting the uh, post to work correctly. So I'll, I'll get that working at some point over the next week or two, um, and then that part will be working. And then the next thing for me is, of course, getting uh, the multiple IPs working and then extending this to work with URLs as well. So you see we have IP void. Um, I would like to be pulling the same information for URLs. Here we go. URLvoid.com. So I'd like to be pulling the same information about, I uh, say, URLs. So that's not an option currently. I, I don't have that working. It'll work with the RobTech stuff and it'll work with the FortiGuard stuff, but it doesn't work with uh, IP void for obvious reasons. So that's the, uh, the tool currently. Um, for those of you who are Python programs out there, or Python programmers, I would love for you to come and, and help out and contribute to this. Um, I do have it up on GitHub. I'm going to pause for a second while I grab that. All right, and I'm back. So GitHub slash enormous slash tech defense will get you to uh, my GitHub page. And then you'll see here I have uh, two Python scripts, uh, regex tester, which is the one I used last week in the regex video, and automator. Um, 
which is the program that we're looking at. So if we open this guy up here, you'll see the program as it currently is. So for anybody who wants to contribute to this project, I'm more than happy to have people come by and, and help me expand this out, get as many sources as we want, clean this up a little bit. Um, anybody who's really good at Python who, who may want to help me um, make this more efficient because I'm probably doing things in uh, a noobish way as I'm, I'm not very good with Python, I'd be more than happy to have you come help out. Or anybody who just wants to try to learn Python and wants to do it using um, this program, uh, absolutely, please, uh, please come and help out. So uh, yeah, check it out, download it, try it out. Uh, let me know any bugs that you're you're seeing, and of course you can let me know um, via the typical. Oh yeah, I can't edit because I'm not in there. So uh, you can hit me up, of course, like always at eenormous. at techdefense.com. Um, techdefense.com also has more videos and stuff. And of course we do security consultant. So uh, if you're looking for any security consulting stuff, please head over to techdefense.com and hit us up. Uh, but beyond that, I hope you enjoyed this demo. Download the tool and let me know what you think. Thanks.